is my 2005 Jeep Wrangler TJ and uh, I bought it new in 2005 is actually a half year um, so there's some <clears throat> oddities about this Jeep that uh, well, I don't have but uh, I'm not gonna get into that I am having an issue though my with it shifting and about two years ago well maybe more than that maybe three or four years ago I was having some really bad issues with my my transmission and uh, so anyway I had to have it replaced and as you see I've got the infamous check engine light coming on okay let's scan for codes now have my Diagnostic scanner plugged in. Turn it on. Let's see. Three codes. Okay. Here we go. P1603, one code. P1603. PCM came in from Wrangler Fix for my 2005 Jeep Wrangler and uh, this is an unboxing. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. And there it is. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Yeah, let's put this on and see how it works. All right, let's get this thing taken out. Again, we have our new one from Wrangler Fix. Um, it actually, they actually will ask you for your VIN number and match up to the to the Jeep. Is we have to take these off and uh, connectors. You just pull back the. Uh, these red tabs. Yeah. And then these black tabs here you'll press down and then pull the connector off just like that. Now there's not really enough room for them to get in this uh, place, but uh, in, out of order. But they are color coded. You'll see that, and we actually see that on the, the new one as well. Then we're going to need a T25 Torx in order to remove it. You're going to have three bolts, or yeah, three bolts, Torx screws to remove it. Now there's several on here, but uh, it's this one and this one. Then one right over here. <laughs> For safety, you might want to disconnect the battery because if you smack the torques with with this one, you're taking it off. It could spark. And there's the old one. Then we just take our new one, put it right back here. There we go, that's all there is to it. So coming out of the neighborhood, uh, in the neighborhood you barely get out of third anyway. So I did shift into fourth just fine, coming up through here. And uh, now we're at the main road and uh, let's see how it does for us. Here we go, let's try it.
everything works out great. It's actually driving smoother um, and just purring really nice. This is great. Um, so there we go. Yep, working great. It's the guys over at uh, Wrangler Fix did a great job. They uh, kept me informed what was going on. They texted me and uh, I've got this core. I'm going to find out if they want it back, if they want my core. I don't know if they actually use old cores to refurbish or, or, or if they actually manufacture their own. So anyway, back in the neighborhood. Hope this helped you. See you later. Bye-bye.